everyone. Welcome to Sean Allen Films the Educational Series. I'm Sean Allen. This is part 3 of a 9 part series on the skeletal system. If you haven't checked out parts 1 and 2 yet, I suggest you go look at them right now. The links are down below. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the vertebral column. What is your vertebral column? It's basically your backbone. It's divided into five parts and it is composed of 26 bones. The parts of the vertebral column are as follows. The cervical vertebrae, the thoracic vertebrae, the lumbar vertebrae, the sacrum, and the coccyx. Let's take a look at them individually. The cervical vertebrae has a total of seven bones. Don't believe me? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See? Seven bones. Told you. What does the cervical vertebrae do? Well, basically, it is the part of the vertebral column that helps support the head and the shoulders. The next section, the thoracic vertebrae, contains 12 bones. This part of the vertebral column helps support the rib cage. Don't worry about the rib cage today. We'll be talking about it in next week's video. The lumbar vertebra contains five bones. It helps support the lower back. This bone right here is called the sacrum. This helps out in the weight of the whole vertebral column. The coccyx is this little bit of bone that hangs just below the sacrum. Our coccyx is also known as our tailbone. Even though each section of the vertebral column has a specific job, the backbone serves one major purpose. Can you guess what it is? It's pretty simple. As mentioned a minute ago, the cervical vertebrae supports your head, which is also your skull. If we look at our skull model again, you may notice this opening on the bottom. That's no mistake, folks. Something comes out of this hole that is vital for our everyday life. It's our spinal cord. This cord comes out of the bottom of the skull and into our back. Thus, the number one job of the vertebral column is to protect our spinal cord. We will get to the spinal cord and the brain and the nervous system a little later on in the series, so don't worry, we'll get there. The bones in the vertebral column are very unique. Let's take a look at an individual bone from the back. A single bone from the back is called a vertebra. The hole in the center of the vertebra is called the vertebral foramen. This is where the spinal cord will travel through the vertebral column. The sides around the foramen are called the vertebral arch. This helps in the direction of the spinal cord. The section on the bottom is called the body of the vertebra. The sides of the vertebra that are sticking out are known as the transverse process. This helps in the movement of your back. Another bone that helps out in movement is the spinous process. To make sure that the bones don't scrape one another, there is a special type of disc in between each individual vertebra, and that disc is known as an intervertebral disc. This disc is made of a special type of cartilage known as fibrocartilage. Well, everyone, that pretty much sums up the whole vertebral column. Let's go over a quick review. The vertebral column is divided into five parts. The cervical vertebrae, the thoracic vertebrae, the lumbar vertebrae, the sacrum, and the coccyx. The number one job for your vertebral column is to protect your spinal cord. The cervical vertebrae have up to seven bones. The thoracic vertebrae have up to three bones. And your lumbar vertebrae have up to five bones. Okay. There you go, Mr. Bones. Well, everyone, we have finished part three of the skeletal system. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. Next week, we'll be learning about the rib cage, the pelvic, and pectoral girdle. That's a lot of stuff to cover in just one video. Before you go, be sure to like this video and leave a comment telling us what you thought about today's show. 
Be sure to also check out Sean's Google Plus page, his Twitter, his Facebook, and Keek. The links are down below. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, keep on learning. Hey everyone, it's me again. Thanks a lot for watching today's show. Say, did you know that I have two channels now? That's right, I have two channels on YouTube. Sean Allen Films, the educational series, and now Sean Allen Films, the vlog series. And uh, what's this channel going to be for? Well, I'm basically going to be placing some very cool behind-the-scenes footage of some things happening here when I'm filming for the educational series. Maybe it'll give you some insights on the different characters I portray in the show. Maybe some bloopers. And, get this, even some personal vlogs. If you guys want to check those videos out, click the link down below that says Second Channel. And that will take you directly to the second channel. Did I just repeat myself? I think I just did. <laughs> Anyways, please be sure to subscribe. And uh, thanks a lot for watching the videos so far. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, you guys. And like this video, too, if you liked it. Take care.